Hi, my name is Ali Al Mansouri, and today I'm going to be answering the most Googled questions about space sciences. Okay, let's take the first question. Why is science so important? I can think of many, many answers to this question, but I think that it brings people together. You don't need to be a certain type of person to love science because it's just simply trying to answer the curious questions that we always have in our minds. Why does the sun come up? Why does the earth look a certain way? Why do we have running water? Things like that, I think, are really interesting and everyone would love to know the answers of. Can astronauts see stars? Well, yes, they can see stars, but sometimes when they're in the International Space Station, if that's the case where we're talking about, the light from the sun is really, um, is really strong, so they can't really see a lot of stars because it kind of like blocks them out. Just how sometimes when we're outside on a hot sunny day and we can't really see any other stars other than our beautiful sun. Why is science interesting? I think I've answered this before, but I'll give you another answer. Well, I, when I was a kid, I always had these really weird questions like, Am I an alien? Do I, did I live anywhere other than Earth? And I think science can really answer that question because of ourselves. When we look at our DNA, we can see that it has so much in common with other animals and other organisms on Earth. And it just makes it seem so interesting that yeah, we are perfectly fitted for our Earth. And it answers my question. No, I'm not an alien, sadly. Is space exploration a waste of money? I'm just gonna sit here and, and wait for you to think of the answer. It's not. <laughs> a lot of people think that when we go to space, we're neglecting a lot of Earth-related issues. But actually, ever since, you know, a long time ago, humans have always wanted to discover space, and not just space, anywhere else on Earth. So this is just extending this type of curiosity. When we go out to space, we learn so much about Earth. and. For example, there are a lot of moonshots that uh, were created when people went to the moon and when people went to space. A lot of new technology was created, such as the little cameras on your phone. So if we didn't have space exploration, you wouldn't be able to take really cool pictures for Instagram. Okay, do astronauts have Wi-Fi? I think they have Wi-Fi available for a certain time of the day, but when I go to space and come back, I will definitely try to provide that answer. Will science ever reverse aging? Well, I hope someday it will be able to do so, but um, what happens when we age is that in our DNA, in our genes, there are these long things at the end of our DNA called telomeres. You can think of them as like your shoelaces. You know this little plastic cap at the end of your shoelaces that kind of protect them from getting ruined? It's the same thing. So as we age, these telomeres get shorter and shorter. So if science ever finds a way to make these telomeres longer or last longer, then maybe we'll be able to reverse aging or stay alive for longer. Do plants feel pain? Well, pain kind of happens when there's a central nervous system. So a lot of animals and organisms feel pain because of their nerves. Um, and this basically triggers an evolutionary response that they have to change a certain thing. Um, and it triggers homeostasis in them. So plants do not feel pain as far as I'm concerned, maybe some of them, but the central nervous system is what causes pain and most plants do not have one, so they don't feel pain. So hard question. I'm vegan, so a lot of people tell me, oh, so you're not gonna eat animals, but you're gonna eat plants. They feel pain as well. How do you think how do you think a banana feels when you eat it? And I'm just like, it doesn't it doesn't feel any pain, guys. Are scientists trying to recreate dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs, so I really hope that this happens one day. Um, but I think, I mean, quantifiably, if you take some dinosaur fossils and you try to manipulate it in some way, maybe when science advances to a point where we can do that, we might be able to bring dinosaurs back. It's, a good, it's good news for all the Jurassic World fans, but I'm really excited about that if it ever happens. And that's all. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to Cosmo Middle East on YouTube.